Hello and welcome to another Magic the Gathering Draft video. It's a dark, stormy, rainy night here in Saskatoon, Saskatchewan. I'm on uh, traveling for work, so I thought I'd fire up a video here and uh, do a little draft. So if you can hear the rain, that's what's going on. We've got Kitnap as our rare 2 blue blue for the enchant creature. Uh, you steal their thing, but it's tapped for three turns unless you give them a card. Not a bad reason to maybe play blue, but um, let's see if we can do a little better than that. Uncommons are pretty unexciting, this one. Oh yeah, steal a creature for a turn, not great. Um, pretty weak pack, honestly. The commons in consideration are Banishing Light, two and a white to exile something. That's kind of it. Treetop sentries, maybe, I guess. Four mana, two, four, draw a card if you forage. Uncommons are all quite bad. Parting Gust is, I guess, okay. Coiling Rebirth is a reanimate thing, and you get a copy. I don't think we want that. Not a lot of support for reanimator in this set. Creatures are all pretty small. So we're going to start with a kit nap. See if we can't end up in some kind of blue deck. Obviously, blue being one of the weaker, well, definitely the weakest color in the format. See what that means. Sugar Coat is a blue uncommon here. Turns the thing into a food. Not bad for removal to follow it up. We could take a Tide Collar Mentor. Not really interested in drafting Plume Creed Mentor, the blue white uncommon. Uh, blue white's not been all that exciting, but I think blue black's got some potential. So we might take that here. Might be the highest ceiling pick. Another kind of weak pack outside of that. The commons are pretty bad. We've got Warren Elder, 2 mana 2 2 that can pump up your team. Um bunch more yeah a bunch of kind of nothing so i guess let me read this rare again festival of embers five mana cast instant source of graveyard paying one life that's pretty cool but uh yeah i mean blue red the the spell stuff is just not really happening this is more of a commander card i think so yeah we'll take a tide collar mentor see what happens we're not married to anything here let's try to stay open to different possibilities see what gets passed to us Keen-Eyed Curator, green green for a 3-3. Three, three. Uh, you exile stuff in the graveyard and it gets bigger. Green green's a little bit tough, but uh, might be the strongest card here. There's a Drift Gloom Coyote to exile opposing creatures. Bunch of pretty bad commons. Uh, Baker's Bane Duo is really good. One of green 2-2 two, two makes a food. Bone Bind Orator is the kind of card you try to wheel, though. One of a black 2-2 two, two can get something back from your graveyard once it's in the graveyard. Another Plume Creed Mentor. Hmm. Not a great start to the draft here. I'm kind of inclined to take this green rare and just sort of see. There's nothing really to support the blue plan here, except for Bone Bind Orator, or I guess to a lesser extent the Mentor. We could also end up in like blue green with kidnap and this curator. The mana costs are a little bit tricky, but I think we could maybe get there. Um alright. Like to see a Thought Stalker Warlock here to in a black for a 2-2 menace makes them discard. Another sugar coat. We might wheel one or both of these. I don't think it's got particularly good win rate stats, but we might be interested in playing one one of them. Uh, definitely going to take this Warlock here. It's Head and Shoulders, the best card in the pack. There's also a Short Bow. This pack's like actually got some better stuff going on. A Pearl of Wisdom we could maybe wheel. A Ravine Raider is really nice if you're in Black Red Lizard. Single Black 1-1 one, one Menace. Yeah, let's just take this Warlock. And probably going to follow that up with a Nocturnal Hunger. Just a really good black removal spell. Three mana, kill a thing, lose two life, or give him a food. Tree Guard Duo is solid in green. Veteran Guard Mouse is kind of replaceable. These Waxway Witnesses, I don't even know if I've ever seen this on the battlefield. Pretty medium. Medium, medium, medium. Bunch of medium stuff. So easy Nocturnal Hunger here. So now we're starting to maybe draft a base of black cards here. We don't need to play this Mentor or this Kidnap, but they're here if we decide we want to go in that direction. Uh, Blacksmith Talent's not a bad one. Gives you an equipment, lets you move that around, gives your stuff double strike and trample later on. Hoarder's Overflow is a bit uh, clunky. So I think I like Blacksmith Talent or Bushy 
bodyguard out of this pack or tree guard duo. Egg Blade Assassin, yeah, it's about the right time to be taking it, I guess, but I'm not sure that it's really... We don't know that we're in a deck that really wants it. So I think the high ceiling card to take here is Bushy Bodyguard, and maybe we end up in Black Green. Ooh, speaking of, hello, hello, hello. And a little Vine Reap Mentor action here. Pick seven. So seeing uh, top black uncommon, top black removal spell into pretty good green uncommon, into the black green signpost uncommon, pretty good indicator here that black green might be open from our right hand side so certainly try to keep that in mind um yeah not going to wheel anything out of this pack but there are some other playables here glide dive duo in the green four mana four four uh some good ones this pack is actually pretty darn good wow wonder what else was in here feather flight's really good in the red white deck valley rally similarly Solid in that deck as well. I guess we'll just take Early Winter. Or we could take Pond Profit. If we want to keep the blue-green dream alive. I just don't really see how we would end up there at this point. So I'm going to take Early Winter. It's a removal spell. It's not great, but it does the thing it says. Five mana, kill a thing. And can get rid of enchantments too, which is something that Black uh, often does not get to do. Do we take another one here? I think so. These blue cards are pretty unexciting. Don't think we want to play two, but... All right. And wield a Plume Creed Mentor. Uh, I guess we'll take it. There's just, like, no way we're going to play it, though. We have no white. We haven't seen any good white. Let's take the rare for the gems. I guess that's what we're going to do. None of those other cards are very exciting. Uh grotto for the splash seems fine sugar coat would uh, I guess we're more likely to actually like play base blue and splash black removal than we are to base black splash blue removal because we have so much removal in black okay so the pack didn't round out exactly as I'd hoped um, but I guess there, there wasn't much that could have wheeled we didn't wheel the Bone bind orator, which is a bit concerning, but certainly seeing the signals of uh, black green potentially being there for us. Mockingbird, X and a blue flyer, copies any creature, except it's a bird and has flying. That's pretty good. Bone cash overseer is kind of the build around for the food deck. We also didn't wheel the two mana two two makes of food when it comes in, which is so there's so could be a little bit of. A contest for the black green stuff so hmm like we should wheel this overseer if nobody else is in the deck so I'm inclined to actually to just take this blue rare we've got two blue rares we've got a good black blue uncommon we could splash nah, we don't really want to splash mentor but we could I guess um, so yeah here we are getting deeper into blue but what are you gonna do uh, this is not a good rare. Valley Flood Collar doesn't really do anything for us. Bandit's Talon actually has kind of messed me up in a few games. I was kind of impressed with this card. Um, might be our pick here just because there's not much going on in the pack. We got Shrike Force and Banishing Light in white. We're pretty unlikely to uh, end up white, though. We have no white cards at the moment. Ravine Raider for the curve purposes. Uh, Sun Shower Druid. Doesn't really fit with the cards that we got. I guess I'll take Bandit's Talent. Don't really know where this deck is headed yet. Okay, just keep picking up flexible cards if we can. Uh, fell or Nocturnal Hunger. I think I'll take a Fell. We already have one Hunger. They're pretty similar. Um, the Instant Speed on Hunger, of course, allowing you to blow out combat tricks and and uh, different things like that, but uh, Fell costing one less mana and not costing you any life is an advantage in its own right, so we'll take that. Keeping an eye on this Baker's Bane duo, we probably won't see it again, but might wield this Thought Shucker, which would be a useful piece of a blue-black deck. If we are going to go blue-black, we want to think about doing some stuff uh, to fill our graveyard, so we'll keep an eye on stuff that can, that can mill for us. Ooh! 
Okay, all right, Shoreline Looter. This is the best blue uncommon by quite a bit, as far as I can tell. This is two mana for a 1-1, one, one. can't be blocked. When it hits them, you get to loot, draw a card, discard a card. If you have Threshold, you just draw a card instead. We didn't pick up that sugar coat on the wheel, I guess. I was taking something else, or it didn't wheel. But we're going to take this looter. Not seeing any green, so I think actually the green dream... I mean, the pack's going the other way, so we'll probably see a little bit of green in the uh, in the third pack, but it seems to me that uh, the green dream is dead. So maybe we're going to wheel like Runaway together or Sugarcoat out of that one. There's some good, good blue coming around, though. Season of the Bold. Make a bunch of treasures, play stuff off the top. That's kind of cool. Uh, Long River Lurker, two, three mana, two, three, ward. Creature can't be blocked, you may exile and blink it. I don't know if we have any synergy with that. We could take Dire Downdraft. We we're pretty good for removal though. We could pick up something that's got an ETB, maybe. I don't know, really nothing uh, for it, but we also kind of need creatures, right? Only seven, so we'll take it. Maybe we'll pick up something to uh, Synergize with it. Dazzling Denial, uh, another Assassin, or a Lily Splash Mentor. We have the Grotto. Again, we don't have any synergy outright with this. There's also Hazel's Nocturne to get back stuff from the dead. I'm going to flip this so I can kind of see what we've got going on. Um, man, this is a tough pick. I wish we had more time for this. I think I'm going to take the Denial just to make sure that we have early interaction. I think like a deck like this we don't really have much going on, right? If we're not playing these green cards, we've only got one two-drop creature, and um, this Bandit's Talent might not make our deck. So I think it's right to take that Denial there, but I was thinking about taking the Uncommon Frog. This Light Shell Duel, this is a, this is a card that actually works well in blue-black from what I've seen. We are going to take the Uncommon, but at Common, this is one of the better cards, I think. It surveils for you, so it puts two in the yard if that's what you need, and then it's just big, it blocks well. Works well with um, the removal spells and whatnot, but obviously we'll just take... Uh, this is just a better card on stats and, and all the rest of it. Okay. Dire Sight. Losing two life is pretty rough, but of course this can put three in the yard for you. I think we're going to... I think we'll play it over... Whatever this card is. Finch Formation. Not really what we're about. So if we can get... Um, we can get Threshold online. I think we can afford to play like one Dire Sight. You run away together or Psychic Whirl. Oh, discards too, and then you could surveil. I, I know I didn't p take this the last time around. I took a rare, <laughs> selfishly. Uh, we'll take it here. I don't think we're playing Runaway together, so we don't have anything that it's synergized with, and we'll get one later if we really need it. Okay, Shore Up to protect what? Shoreline Looter, Mentors. I think I'll take a Ravine Raider. It's, it turns on the Warlock for us, puts a little pressure. Okay, there's the, the Shucker we wanted to wheel. There's another runaway, so we got one. Great. Down drop, last pick. Okay, well, I mean, I want to say we're in the right colors, but, like, blue is kind of always open in this format, so what are you going to do? Coiling Rebirth, still nothing that we care to reanimate. Uh, Warlock, is, Thoughtstalker Warlock, just far and away the best card. Saver's really good, also. Um, if you're not taking this card highly, you really should be. It's good everywhere, even the decks that don't care about food, like even in this deck, just being able to gain three life at some point is so important when you're behind. Still take the Warlock. Um, of course, I yeah, I was saying we don't have any Enters the Battlefield stuff, but we do have one Warlock now. We have two. So this Long River Lurker can do a little bit of work for us in that regard. This card is also pretty sick. Thornplate Intimidator, 4 minute 4 3. And they have to choose a, a bad thing when it comes into play, and it's got... Uh, man, we're hitting some uncommons here. It's got uh, Offspring, Wix Patrol, to another top black uncommon. Mills you for three. I don't know why. It's not going big, but um, I'll show you in a second. <laughs> Mills you for three and then shrinks something based on the biggest thing you have in your graveyard. So hits uh, Threshold, all the rest of it. Uh, Fountain Port Bell we would play. Maybe we'll wheel this. It puts a card in your graveyard, fix your mana a little bit. We don't have anything that we want to splash, so we're probably not going to play this Grotto. Although it does surveil for you, but I don't think it's worth it. it enters doesn't enter tapped. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Probably still not. Fountain Port Bell. Here it is again. Light Shell Duo. I think we'll take Light Shell Duo. I think we are 
going to wheel that other bell and not doing too badly for creatures, but and we, need to, we need to make sure we make playables. This is already pick three and we're, we're like, we're not playing this grotto. We're three short and we would like to cut probably this bandit's talent. Maybe this raider. Pearl of Wisdom is not great. So we have cards that we could cut too. So we want to make sure that we we're making good playables. Uh, Bone Mind Order. We do need twos. I think we're going to wheel this down draft since we saw one very last pick. So take an order. So the nice thing about being in blue, of course, is that you get dire down drafts last pick. <laughs> and the card is good. It's just that blue is not very good. But because we have two rares, a, a Shoreline Looter, a couple of mentors, like if you have the good cards, you get the good, uh, the good commons late, then you're you know, you're quite happy with that. Okay, this Vine Lasher card is quite good. We're not very aggressive, but this makes us more aggressive. It's either that or consumed by greed. So right now we've got uh, Hunger and a Fell, and that's kind of it. We've got the Kidnaps kind of a removal spell. I'm going to take the Greed. I think it fits better with our plan, but I do like that Vine Lasher quite a bit. What does this do? Create a food when it's st something dies. You can mill yourself. That's kind of cool. You may sacrifice three other non-land permanents. Uh, I have no idea if that card's good. I'm going to take this Thorn Plate Intimidator because I know that it's good. And we're going to take another one. Maybe. I think we're going to get that other Dire Draft or Down Draft. So. Yeah, there's also a Mind Spiral too, eh? Maybe we just need that. Like kill a bunch of stuff and then draw cards. Yeah, let's do that. I think that's better. Duo, that's great. Glide Dive Duo is great in this deck. Gain two life, help you stabilize. There's another Intimidator. All right, all right, all right. There was a Stargaze there too, but I think that's too much life loss. Seed Pod Squire is here. I think that's really what we want to be doing now. I think we're going to take that Bell for the reasons that we said earlier. These cards are all pretty bad. Take a Psychic Whirl. I think we're going to cut the other Psychic Whirl, though. Okay. We're going to get the Downdraft. Let's go. We have to get it here. Ah. That's okay. We already have one. Okay. Cool. I haven't played Blue Black yet, but I have lost to it. So, we'll see. See what's good here. Um... Get a cut. So we can cut a land, I think. Fountain Port Bell can be a land for us. So we'll cut a swamp. Um, runaway. So, I mean, Runaway is good. We have double Thought Stalker. Could disrupt them. We've also got the Thorn Plates now, so that reusing those is pretty good. Reusing the Duo is pretty good. Reusing the Wix Patrol is pretty good. So we actually ended up with a bunch of kind of sicko enter the battlefield effects. So maybe we're interested in a runaway. I think I'm going to cut the... Uh, I already cut it, didn't I? The discard spell. How many rats do we have? We have eight. So it's going to, most of the time, it's going to give us the surveil. Could see cutting a raider, too. We're a little short on, like, early stuff to do, though. Hmm. As I have not yet built this deck before, I'm, I'm going to be a bit slower at it here. Probably Pearl of Wisdom. Don't need that, right? Don't have any otters. Is this an otter? No, it's a rat. Keep the frog. Like that for just having something to do and blinking some of our, our cool stuff. Dire Sight. Losing two is kind of rough, but that stays for now, I guess. Downdraft is good. All these cards are good here. Could cut early winter, I think. So we've got one, two, three, four-ish. Yeah. And I guess the Raider. Yeah. Boom, boom. Okay. Early winter, like, how I could see wanting one just because the game's going to go long. We need an answer to bombs that our opponent might have. So maybe that's, like, why we should just cut Bandit's talent for it. I think Orator's just good enough. We just need early blockers. Dire Sight's on the chopping block. I can see not playing that one. 
So we don't have any like, real good life game. We've got the glide dive duo, that's kind of it. Okay, let's bring in early winter and cut Bandit's talent. Then run away. I'm I'm curious if we want to run that. There's a lot of like ETBs on the other side too, like bouncing a uh, like the three two rabbit that makes a that has offspring. Like oh, that's really bad, right? So there's not always good targets for this. This would certainly be like a good card to bring in out of, out of the sideboard though. If, Got somebody playing like a lot of four drops, but I think we'll just rock this. Yeah. Let's do it. Let's do it. Quite a bad hand. I mean we got dire sight on the play. If we if we get if we lock into an island, we're doing fine. I don't think we want to go to five, so. We're gonna like put Wix Patrol back though. Or I guess we just put Thought Shucker back because we're probably not gonna draw an island on time. So yeah, I guess that's what we're gonna do. So we certainly wanna hit all our land drops so we can get to these these big boys. Hopefully we don't get run over by aggro. Oh boy. Here we go. Alright, well. Let's play the Warlock. Not getting any better. This has prowess. So we'll have to be aware of that. Might not be able to block. If our opponent just comes in with the attack, I don't know, you know. Do, we, do you block? See if they've got a trick. Our next turn is going to be just casting Dire Sight and trying to hit land drops. So we're going to take even more damage. Okay, so they're, they're, see, I think that, you know, just, just attack there, it's, the, that's the good bluff, right? Okay, so then, this comes, oh, this is gonna be sick, okay. Tart creature you control can't be blocked, when that creature deals combat damage, you may exile, if you do, return it, so we're gonna get to thought seize them here. That was a really lucky draw, of course, the, uh, river lurker into the island, perfect, running perfects there, let's, let's do this thing. I will take that action, yes, yes, please. Let's see what you got going on here. Ooh, lots of gas, lots of gas, okay. Some good good ones here. So they're stuck on three. So if they miss their next land drop, they're not gonna have anything to do. So I guess, does that mean we take, take the cutthroat? All these fours are pretty good. Um, I mean, cutthroat, like it's, yeah, it's kind of funny. We don't really care about the cutthroat. We know they don't have any tricks. Plus X plus zero doesn't give trample. Maybe we're supposed to just take the path maker. Hmm. Because that's the two for one that we can't really come back from. All any of these other cards we can just kill, right? Because we've got a Wix Patrol coming at some point. So let's take the path maker. Okay, so they didn't hit their land. They're gonna attack us for three. No. Now we're missing lands. Okay, so we need to hit lands off of Dire Sight to make sure we can get to our big and big boys here. Uh, we're not gonna attack them, so yeah. Guess we want to hold up a swamp in case we hit fell plus an island or something like that nocturnal hunger and kidnap we don't have double blue though um i think we just need to hit lands so i think i'm inclined to bin both of these plus it gets us closer to threshold okay cool say no good no attacks So we want them to play, I guess, Teapot Slinger is the more annoying of these two. They're both annoying, but... Okay, they didn't hit their land. Nice. Hmm. So how many lizards do they have? Just the one. So if they've got Scales of Shale, they can't play it. So I'm going to double block here. 
Cool. Okay, so we could save the wicks, I think. These creatures aren't all that threatening to us, even though it spends our, our mana a little bit better. We could also play... So we can either play Mentor plus Orator or uh, just Glide Dive Duo. We're going to play our land for sure. 3-3 three, three Menace. We'll get the, the bounce effect. So we say, you know, like, I guess, I mean, we could just play Wix. Kill the Roughshod Duo. Or the Ember Heart Challenger, actually. It might be the one. And um, then we've got Threshold. So then we get to bounce something. Just kind of funny against these. Start beating down. Maybe that is the move. Maybe I shouldn't be so afraid of these cards. Let's see what we mill. Uh, I guess we'll just kill Roughshod Duo. Make it so that they don't have good attacks. Because at this point, they don't, like, they're a little bit. We're obviously getting lucky that they didn't hit their lands or whatever, but they're going to be constrained on mana. In terms of, uh, yeah. Oh shoot! No, this was dumb. Yeah, because now they get this. No, I should have killed that. I was I, in my head. I was just thinking they needed a spell. They get to play that until end of turn. Okay, so they're not going to get to cast that. Uh, still think I want to block here. Do I? No, nah, maybe not. No, yeah. I, well, yeah. No, I do because. Then we're going we're gonna to bounce this next turn. They're going to play it again. They're going to get another trigger off of that. So, yeah, my bad. I should have killed this before. But what are you going to do? Um, I think I want to bounce and play Orator. And if Orator ever dies, we can... Oh, we can bet you can match your own stuff for this too. There you go. I'm learning. Uh, if order ever dies, we can get back either our uh, warlock or our Wix patrol, both of which would be nice. Seven mana, so we can double spell these. So it's just tide collar, I guess, coming in. I don't think I just want to like straight up. Chump attack the orator. I don't think that's worth it. Duo for the drain, and then looter. So we're in really good shape here, as long as they don't have some kind of crazy rare or something. Obviously, we certainly got lucky. We drew really well after having mulliganed, and our opponent uh, got stuck on land. So. I don't want to take too much credit for our position, but that's the way it went down. Okay, we take two. We get a couple of boys. So when these die, we take one from them. Hmm. Okay, so we've got four guaranteed damage. Ooh, that's pretty sick. Uh, what is the order of operations here? I think we cast this first, right? Not really sure. This this card just turns my brain into a pretzel. Yeah, they're just like, I don't want to deal with this. <laughs> yeah. That's one of those cards where like sometimes you just you just beat by it and you're just sitting there thinking like, well, what if I discard? Ah, oh, but then no, I won't have enough cards. Oh, what if I take three? Oh no, then I'm dead. Yeah. Cool. All right, well. So far the deck is working. It's exciting. The power of hitting your land drops on time. It's really important in this set. Here's another, oh no, we're not gonna mulligan. We've got a fountain port bell. Cool. It's not a great hand, but if they play a two drop, we could copy it. Stay in, stay in the running. Kind of thinking about run away together after all the um, enter the battlefield stuff we had going on. Would have been pretty good in that game. 
Okay, opponent doesn't have doesn't have a two drop. We have no one drops in this deck, so we'll just play our land and move on. Heaped harvest is fine. We'll crack our thing end of turn. Our fountain port bell. Sorry for the spooky lighting, by the way. This is just uh, the hotel room life, so I'm doing my best here. All right. Just play Tidecaller Mentor. Forgot how much I like drawing cards. There's not enough card draw in this set. Like, Dire Sight hitting our land drops in the last game was so clutch. When you play decks that don't have card draw, you just at the mercy of the top of the deck. It's rough. Okay, we're going to forage. We're going to get a 4-3 and a 1-1 one, one token. That's pretty sick. It's a good card. We don't have the ability to forage. So Mockingbird pretty bad here. So probably just going to cast Dire Sight. Then we will be able to forage if we want to do that whole thing. Of course, foraging is terrible when you're trying to Fill up your graveyard for Threshold. Nocturnal Hunger we could hold up for. So we're going to go down to six cards, and we're going to go to seven, eight, and then we're going to play a land. I think... Hmm. I think I'll just cast this now. There's a chance they don't attack at all. Thoughtstalker, Warlock, Early Winter. We've already got Hunger and Wicks, so I don't think we need Early Winter. Warlock is a little more interesting. It can also get copied by Mockingbird. I think I'm interested in it. Bird can also copy uh, Wix, which is pretty cool. Okay, here comes the bodyguard. We'll block here, see what they want to do. I don't want to take damage for no reason. This is going to be a longer game, so... Okay, that's very good, obviously. Yep, it's about the best thing they could have had. And we're at five mana now. So we can copy their Ambusher. For total four, we just pay four, yeah. Kill their one one, have a four two. We could play glide dive duo, have a blocker, spend our mana a little bit better. I guess I like that more. And then Wix next turn probably. Ooh, they've got an instant. What do they have? Fight spell? Feather of flight. Alright. That's good. That's good. Yeah, I mean, we're under under some pressure. If they got removal here, we're in big trouble. But if we can sort of... Yeah, okay. We're in trouble. We're going to take 10 down to 10. Then we're going to play Wix, kill their 5-2. Yeah. Ooh. Foraging in addition to paying. Yes, they'll be able to do that too. Yeah, we're in trouble. I think the move is still to play Wix and kill the 5 2, though. So we got 7 on board, we're at 10. Okay. Well, this all kind of went downhill when I just decided when I decided to play um, Dire Sight instead of removing this bodyguard. So maybe that's the we didn't really need the cards at the time. So I think that was the mistake there. Probably just play the removal spell, and uh, then we wouldn't be so far behind on board. So we are dead, right? 
Very dead. So, on to the next. Yeah, right, because they, they attacked and got us with the ambusher. Didn't want to give them the food, though. They would have liked to have that. We're on the play, got a two drop into it. Being on the play is also very good in this format. So between Dire Sight and Light Shell Duo, we'll be getting pretty close to Threshold. And here we go again. Do we want to hold up to sight or uh, dazzling denial, or do we want to just spend our mana cast dire sight? Again, I just want to spend the mana, right? See if we get punished for it. Uh, Intimidator is not the best right now. We just want to fill up the yard, I think. <laughs> cool. Well, at least we're not getting attacked. Yeesh. Okay. Plus one, plus one, Vigilance, Trample, Haste. Neither of these have a Valiant ability, at least. That's good. Very good, but we don't have. Uh, we need to hit lands <clears throat> to get there. So I think it's got to go. Say go. At least we got a pretty good defense here. Yeah, obviously would have. Um... Oh yeah, other mice you control get plus one. All right, would have uh, taken the counter spell on this over drawing those cards, of course. Okay, so we can thought stalker them. We don't get to see their hand though, and then we can hold up dazzling denial. Does that help us? Really, this is going to become a 6-6. Six, six. So we could tap that down, give them a fish, tap that down, draw three. How much does that really do for us? 6-6 six, six first strike, this will be. But we really want to get to threshold so that we can bounce it with these mentors. Hmm. See, I suppose let's just buy some time. Target player draws three. Target creature gets tapped down. Do we want to attack them for four? I don't think so. Okay, we've got the Long River Lurker Warlock combo. It's also good with Tide Color Mentor. Really wish I just held this up, man. What am I gonna learn, huh? Okay, Mabel's suiting up. I 
So we can bounce the sword too with this. We're gonna have six mana next turn. I think I'm taking four here. I don't want to get. I don't want double block get blown out. So. Okay. This isn't going so good. We still don't have threshold though. So if I nocturnal hunger the. What are we supposed to do here? Nocturnal the guard mouse. It's a three four, right? Maybe we nocturnal the Mabel. We can give them a food. We don't care about that. Nocturnal the Mabel bounce the sword. We'd love to get a two for one. We're already way ahead on, on cards though. Um I mean, Mabel, Mabel is a 3-3 three, three doesn't really scare us. This is the potential of just pumping other things up. The 3-4 mouse is actually a problem in terms of blocking. Gift of food for sure. Okay, let's kill this guard mouse. Threshold achieved. Get this sword out of here. All right. Might be stabilizing here. Might be. So if it's plus two, plus two, and they make it indestructible, the double block is really bad. So we'll just put a single block on it. Trades, okay, uh, that's totally fine. Land, Squire, okay. So kill that with the uh, consumed by greed. I think we just want to seven mana. We just want to warlock them here. Want to get want to get uh, want to do the warlock lurker combo. I think next turn. Dazzling denial is gonna it's never gonna never gonna do anything for us now. Oh gosh. So bad at this game sometimes. Alright. Yeah, I guess we'll just bounce this and deal with it another day. In fact, let's bounce it first. Get in for two. See if we can't uh, get a little Bloodthirst trigger for our Warlock. Bloodthirst is the OG. If they took damage, you get a bonus mechanic. So there's no way they're going to block, right? Why would they? They're at 20. All right. Now we're cooking with gas. Now I feel good. <laughs> yep. All right. Let's go. Still think it was a mistake to cast the draw spell, but we dug ourselves a hole and then climbed out of it. Opponent goes first. We have a uh, kind of brutal hand here. <laughs> I haven't had a really good opener yet. Maybe last game's opener was pretty good. Uh, I mean, we've got Fell to keep us in it. Such a slow hand. I think we got to. I think we got to keep it though. Mulliganing is really bad. Oh, God. Because we, we, like, we just don't have that many two drops in the deck, so it's like... Okay, they're just going to pump. That's cool, I guess. Goodbye. Let's 
kind of like they invested three mana in that card, so I can feel good about that. Okay. We have no play. It's brutal. So next turn is going to be Light Shell Duo. Try to block. Oh, yeah. Here we go. This is bad. So next turn is uh, probably Glide Dive Duo or Mind Spiral, so I don't think we want either of these. The Mentor is not uh, going to matter until we have Threshold. We're quite far away from that. We're not trying to attack. It's not a very good blocker. It's, it's fine, but we're not going to be casting it anyways, so let's get rid of it for now. Oh dear. Seven down to eight. Stuck on lands. We're at eight. Jeez. So the problem is, like, if we play duo, I guess we go to ten. If they don't draw what they need, they'll just spend their turn giving this menace. We'll go to six. If they do draw land, I mean, we'll see what they have. I think it's better to play the creature, though. Like, we could lock this down, give them a fish, but then if they hit a land, then they, like, haste something out. So I think the move is to play this, and then like, I don't know, if we can somewhat sort of stabilize here then, because like if they draw the land, then they're going to be incentivized to play something and then they might not attack. In both, oh boy. Well. Obviously, there's a combat trick incoming here, so I can, think we'll block the better creature, take less damage. Okay. That, that, that worked out okay. We're still at eight. Mind Spiral. Do we have any... We have no, um, no one drops in the deck, so it doesn't... Difference. Give you a fish. Target player draws. Target creature is locked. We get two blockers next turn. And we will have threshold. Definitely not going to do that. Th we'll have threshold once we sacrifice the bell. So we're going to five here at a minimum. No play. So like the ultimate, <laughs> the ultimate greedy move is to play the thorn plate without kicker. They probably just take three because they're 24 and then we get to thought seize them. I think that's what we're gonna do. We won't show them that we don't have the land. So they don't know why we chose to do that. And then even if they do sack the token, we still get another card out of their hand. All right, nice. You gotta play a little greedy when you're behind. We're still like in huge trouble. <laughs> they have Rabid Gnaw. Feed, okay. So we're dead? I think we're just dead. If they give their thing menace and swing out. But maybe they don't see it. Oh, they see it. And they don't see it. They do see it. Oh, they, this says menace. Okay, sure. So. 
little bit of a rough hand for us. Wait, well, how are we not dead? I thought we were dead. I mean, we are, but... Yeah, I mean, we're... Let's see, what, see what's on top here. Um, yeah, I guess we had kind of a rough start. Were we on the draw? I think we were. Kidnap. Is that good enough? Seven mana. Steal the menace guy. Play this and still we're dead. Yeah. Um, yeah, I think we were on the draw there. Didn't have a lot going on in the early game. Didn't have a uh, good way to interact. So, yeah, I mean, I don't know. I don't think we made any big mistakes in that game. But the game two certainly made a mistake in uh, casting Dire Sight instead of killing their creature. That would have changed things. That game, I don't think. I think it's just kind of the way it went. This is the kind of, you know, the problem with blue-black or whatever. It's just kind of just loses to whatever's on the other side of the board sometimes. But this deck's been fun to think about and play. I'm, I'm, and certainly, like, skill testing and makes you think. It's cool. It's cool little combos in it. We're not dead yet. One of these days we're going to get a good opening hand. This is pretty good though. Shoreline Looter on turn two is pretty darn powerful. Fountain Port Bell for the opponent putting an island on top. We're going to get the Looter going. We'll play our uh, Shucker probably next turn. Just because I'd like to save this for an ETB re-triggering situation. Ooh, that's a nice one to see. Uh, let's put... Maybe we just put Shucker in the graveyard next. We're going to play Warlock this turn. And then next turn we're probably playing... Might just play Lurker, just get them again. So it doesn't seem like Shucker's gonna be a thing anymore. So let's get rid of it. Man, this Warlock, this, this card is so good. Everyone knew it was good, but boy is it ever good. Okay, I got Swamp Swamp, interesting. 3-3 three, three Flyer, 2-2 two, two, that pumps their team. Sonar Strike is a little bit of a problem because we want to attack them next turn. I don't think we care about War and Elder that much. And this is a blink thing. I mean, we're going to get to take that next turn anyways. I guess the only thing we don't want this is them killing our, uh, our Warlocks. So yeah, let's get rid of the Strike. In for two, we're gonna take it. No worries. That's a good one. They just drew that, eh? I have like three or less from your graveyard to the battlefield. So they don't have anything like that yet. That's friggin' scary though. Okay, um, cool. Well, I think our plan remains the same. We need to find removal for that thing. <laughs> Take that duo, thank you very much. Hey, look at that. All right, uh, so that'll be next turn. Guess uh, put Intimidator in the grave. I think Light Shell Duo is a little bit better for what we're where we're at right now. Want to get to thresholds? Turn on the Looter. It's a little bit better of a blocker. We're still not like the aggro deck yet. We're gonna take three here. And this can get back the Fountain Port Bell too, that's pretty cool. OK, 
Okay, you're down to 15. Hit a land. I would like to get rid of that elder, I think. Definitely want to get rid of this bat. So I will put it out there that if they want to block the warlock, they can. Do we want to attack with the lurker as well? I don't think so. We're going to have blocks. They are going to double block. Nice. Okay. Get rid of this elder then. Let's draw a card. Discard an island. All right. We're in decent shape here. Nothing we really want to take though right now. So I guess we'll just duo it up. Should we attack first? Yes. See what we see we see what we see. Um yeah, I think we're just pitching lands at this point. We do want to hit double block, obviously, but we'll get there. Nice. Two cards we're happy to put in the yard. Now we have Threshold. Life is good. There's our Swamp. Oh, I guess um, last turn... No, no, we should have uh, duoed first. <laughs> we should have duoed first, because then we would have had Threshold for this. We wouldn't have to discard. You can tell that I haven't played this deck before, can't you? Chump? Are they holding a Wrath or something? It's an interesting chump block. Wrath would be pretty sick. That's a good card. I think I'll take that. Or make a copy of it. Uh, do we really need to give them a card? Three, six, seven, eight, nine. I don't think we should actually. We're pretty far ahead. And we can also copy it if we really want it. Okay. They've had enough. Hey, that was cool. So they stumbled a bit. We drew our good cards. Got to thought season twice. Seems like a good. Good way to do it. All right, we're getting into like, would love to see just one more win with this deck. Get most of my gems back, that'd be nice. Let's see what we can do here. All right, we go first and we've got our looter. Can't ask for much more than that. Opponent mulligans. Okay, we're gonna stay on six. Or was that five? That was a mull of five, wasn't it? Holy moly. Nice indeed. Don't kill it though. Okay, you have one too. Lucky. Well, we could bounce it. Let's see what we see what we see here the land hmm and we could also take it don't really want to cast the lurker right now I think we just want to discard early winter that seems seems like the right move and yeah we'll just hold up downdraft we're okay to just like I mean we're gonna like I don't even hate taking a hit from this but I guess we kind of priced ourselves into doing this. So we'll set them back a turn on their draw step. If they miss, the, if they miss their land, this is going to be like really backbreaking. I guess they can just put it on the bottom if they want. They're thinking about it, so they might be, uh, they might be landlocked on two. And whatever their three drop is, we can, uh, can steal it if we want. They, bought it, they put it on the bottom. 
Ooh, that's a good one to steal too, because it's got a nice, uh, nice static ability. So we don't even need to give them the card. I guess we'll attack first. Thought Shucker. I want to keep hitting lands, but I also want all of these cards. So. A gib. Yes, very nice indeed. Are they going to kidnap it back? That'd be pretty badass. It's going to be stunned for a while if they do. <laughs> Looter is down. Surveil. Do I want Nocturnal Hunger? I don't know. kind of want Threshold. But we also have no, hmm, no interaction right now. So this lurker and this shucker. I don't know. I'm, I might regret that. Nice light shell duo is a nice one. So now let's get threshold. We'll get it next turn anyways. Or no, we won't, because we're gonna we wanna draw this warlock. All right, let's see what's going on. They drew some serious gas here. Osteomancer, Fell, Moonrise, Cleric, Hazel's Doctrine. Those are all really good cards. Uh, wow. I think we're supposed to just take Fell, right? I guess they can double out, they can double spell out their creatures. I think it's got Death Touch. I think we're supposed to just take Fell. I mean, yeah, we do want that. All right, well, we get to take their Nocturne. Uh, trade the duo for the 2 2 if that's what they want to do. Oh, yeah, let's take action. So they've got nothing in the bin that they can recast right now. We're in pretty good shape here. Barring a uh, season of loss or something massive like that, we'll be pretty busted. True. That's pretty cool. So now they get to cast that out of their graveyard. We'll take our free card off of Thought Shucker end of turn. This game's not over though. Still got. Oh, they only got two cards left in the yard, so they won't be able to recast anything again for a little while. OK, 
Okay, take a pile of damage. Put them to three. And this uh, mine sprout can actually kill them next turn and lock down their their flying blocker. I think I don't even think we need it though. Oh, now they got two flying blockers. All right, they are gonna concede. Hey, nice. Got that fourth win. Happy about that. All right, we are back. Yeah, pretty good hand. We got a two drop into a three drop. Got a rare. Some interaction. The all important being on the play, also, if I didn't say that already. Nice. Okay, so two mana, two, two taps for any color. Ah, uh, we could copy it, but I don't think we really care. We'll copy. Uh, Whatever the big thing is, they're going to play with that. We are the aggro for once here. We are the beatdown. All right, plans for the opponents. And a 3-3 three, three going to pump up their wild guide here. Are they going to attack? We're pretty interested in blocking. Oh, okay. We're not going to get to. So we get a fish. They put the counter on. They had to tap this. All right. That's, uh, that's pretty good. So... Uh, yeah, we're either going to Dire Downdraft the 4-4, four, four, or we're going to play another Mentor. Um, is it weird that I want to just do this at sorcery speed? Just top or bottom it right now, attack it for 3. It's like, in theory, they're going to want to use this to make mana, right? Otherwise, we don't have attacks. Playing this mentor doesn't do anything. So yeah, I think that's what I want to do. <clears throat> I'm gonna put it on top. Okay, that's cool. So we draw step, lock them there for a turn. So it means they got good stuff to do in hand. They're probably not looking for lands. Okay, so play something huge that we can we can steal that way. Oh, okay. Ooh, more steely stuff. All right. Well, eventually, obviously that wild guide's going to become a problem for us. Um, do we want to just take it right now? Taking harvest right host doesn't really help us. It helps us attack for a turn, but. It's not that great. Hmm. I don't want to give them a card. We just play this as a three mana three three flyer. Copy the the host. It's just not that exciting. I guess we'll just play mentor. Yeah. It's just not. Yeah. I'm just trying to trying to find the best uh, best line of play here. There just isn't really anything that allows us to like press any damage that seems worthwhile. So a little bit awkward. There we go. That's what I want to steal. They get to draw a card right off of that, too. So good. So, we're going to definitely want to kidnap that. Do we want to give them a card or not? I think we don't. Hmm, this is a great blocker, though. Then we can make a copy of it. Start going ham. I'm gonna say no. They're not really doing anything too impressive right now. So we'll just steal this. We still get the static ability from it. So we'll get a if we uh, 
if, every, if all goes according to plan, this, we'll get uh, two uh, green shell triggers when we copy it with our Mockingbird. And we'll have a 4-6 flyer. Pretty sick. Okay, they're going to put the beatdowns on us now. We're going to take... Might take eight here. Um, well, I mean, we're definitely going to block the wild guide. We'll double block it. Oh, ten. Jeez. Oh, right, because they get the rabbit triggers too. And they draw a card. Yikes. That's pretty sick. Okay, make a white. Okay, sure. Keep making them bigger. So they're probably just going to come in for six here. Might even just chump with the one one, honestly. I think we can take over the game if we don't die too quickly. They come in with both. We'll double block the five three, take six. That's okay as well. It's not. None of this is totally ideal, but we can't be too mad because we have a. We have, we're gonna have double green shell. This isn't legendary, is it? No. Okay. Good. All right. Chump. Don't want to take too much damage here. Let's try to survive. Nice. So removal spell is good. Um. We've still got chump blockers. We're, we're going to be okay. You may have this enter with mana less than. So we need to spend four on X. So it's total five. Um, doesn't matter what we hold up. Yeah, double triggers, baby. Let's go. Let's go. Um, don't need to attack here. Now we just need to find some big bum bums to bring in to uh, keep the uh, keep the pressure going here. They do have a big board over there, so we are in trouble if they have a rabbit response. So far, it doesn't look like they're going for that. They're a little bit constrained on white mana, but. Got the grotto and the wild guide to uh, help them out. Okay. That's a bummer, but it's all right. A couple turns away from having our other green shell untapped. We just need ways to, yeah, play a little defense here still. If our orator dies, yeah, we can get back our uh, mockingbird. Sorcery speed? No. Okay, so what we'll do is. Oh, this is. Uh, what am I thinking here? Yeah, we, we still need uh, an extra mana to copy this again. So. No reason to get a uh, tie color mentor back. So what we're going to do is play Looter, hold up Nocturnal Hunger, and then if we have mana, we'll we'll get uh, we'll activate the Orator end of turn. But we just need to be we need to not die to uh, a mass pump spell here. Fortunately, we're at twenty life, so that's also quite nice. So it's actually a pretty close game. It feels like I do not feel comfortable right now. But if we can untap. <clears throat> and replay Mockingbird next turn, we're going to be feeling pretty good. I suppose we just need to deal with that, eh? I'm going to give them the... Uh, I'm going to give them the food. Even though we're at 20, just don't think we're going to be... Um, winning by a race here. Fight something? Oh boy, nice, very nice. Okay, all right. Well, our plan is uh, it's not looking great now. We got Warren Elder. We're one card away from threshold here, so we should trade. So we can start drawing cards. Right. I would like to get something, but the other thing too is we could get back 
Um, I was thinking we could get back Tide Collar Mentor and then bounce something. How good is that? Buys just a little bit of time. Because this is going to reduce our graveyard count, right? So if we... Yeah, I guess it doesn't matter. We won't have it anyways. Light Shell Duo. Okay, well, that'll give us, th give us uh, Threshold. We already have Threshold, but it'll give us Threshold when we exile our order. Let's draw a card. Thinking, thinking too far ahead. Yeah, let's just draw a card and see what we get. Mind Spiral's pretty good. Hmm. So we'll hit a land most likely off this, and then we can play our Light Shell Duo. Do we want to tap anything down? Don't really want to give them a token at this point. This only really hurts us if we miss on the land. What does this say? Whenever you attack, it gets bigger. Um, let's not give them the token. We should hit something here. Yeah. Okay. Um, cool. Let's play Light Shell Duo. Need land so much anymore. Warlock's actually not great here because they're hellbent, so we can put that away as well. Hellbent meaning they have no cards in hand. That's a that's an old school term. All right, so it's seventeen. They can pump their team once. I'm coming with both guys, eh? Um, I just need to kind of just. Grind them down here, so I, I think we're just, you know, if they have a combat trick, they have a combat trick. It's, that's okay. Okay, that's a, that's a pretty good one. So we take five. And they get a scry. But we get the Warren Elder off the table, so that's pretty good. Top, top. All right, so they've got action. Action is coming. All right, so... Mentor... Could come back. Mockingbird could come back. Neither are great. Probably just going to kick Intimidator here. Five. And then uh, cast the Shucker. I guess we want to attack first. Start working away. They'll sack their food, but... Okay, just got to get rid of this stuff. It's probably just take three and sack of food. This card is pretty powerful when they don't have cards in hand. They don't have, uh... Okay, interesting. So they might have a forage card on top. So now I think. I mean, barring something crazy, I think we're doing okay here. Scry to the bottom. So we can, uh, <clears throat> we can Mockingbird our own Intimidator if we need to. Coming in. No, no tricks, just straight up attacking for three. I can find it, just block here. Kill the, the shocker, that's fine. We leave back the one one here just to really um, hedge our bets. You know, they're going to chump the four three. Whether or not they take an extra damage here, I don't think is going to be super critical. But if they come back at us with some crazy hasty rare or something or whatever, I think it's it's fine to leave it back. Probably doesn't really matter. But okay, so we'll glide dive two of them and then probably get back the bird 
which can copy um, either Intimidator or Glide Dive Duo again. There's a nice one. Need to waste targeted though. There's another Intimidator. That might just be the play. Okay, and we kick it, and then we can copy it too. All right. Well, this is uh, this was quite a game. We did some really cool stuff this game. See you for the next. All right, opponent goes first. Ugh, boy, this is kind of rough. <laughs> We've got a three drop. Not a great, not great on defense. We've got an interaction spell, so we can put put their attacker on the bottom, but not until turn three. So it's like put their three drop back. Uh, hmm. But then we have to like do nothing. Then we can start to maybe stabilize on turn four, and if we draw. Uh, lands we can maybe stabilize with Wix Patrol. Ugh. I mean, if they stumble, we're gonna be in good shape. What are we trying to do? Like we would we would trade Wix Patrol like for a two drop. That'd be great, right? If we had like um, Shoreline Looter or whatever. Just doesn't yeah, it doesn't feel like this hand is bad enough to mulligan. We've got both our colors. We have good cards in our hand. So I'm gonna keep it, but. Uh, yeah, certainly displays the weaknesses of this deck. Okay, they're gonna get a sword. Uh, Warlock, sort of somewhat helpful. It's certainly like I wish we had drafted more twos. I, I don't know that we really had an opportunity to, but you want like two or three more probably than what we have. Okay, so they're pretty pretty aggressive. Consumes not very good, but. I mean, it'll keep us alive. Level two, so their thing's gonna get, uh, get bigger. We're gonna take three. And yeah, if they just wanna level that up, we're gonna be, gonna be pretty sad. Um, So we can't target the sword with that. I mean, if they spend their turn leveling, that's actually pretty good for us because we're just going to kill their creature, but we also need to... Uh, we need to draw cards. We need to hit lands. Hmm. So we either play Tidecaller and try to trade with this. Seems like a recipe for disaster, so I think we'll just uh, hold up our removal. Not a great start here, of course. We kind of knew that was going to happen. Okay, good. Good. Thank you. So, do we want to put this on top? Then they can come back around and... Because um, they got nothing to do. They might just put this on top and then, like, offspring it. Which would be slightly annoying, because they can start throwing around double strike. But consumed is um, is nice because it can kill kind of anything we need. I think we're supposed to downdraft here. Buy some time. But I mean, it comes right back. They get to attach the thing and give it haste. It's pretty pretty rough. Double strike haste. Uh, so we're going to be facing the same thing again next turn. All right, light shell duo that can block and survive against the plus one plus one. Uh, that's kind of cool. Warlock does not block it, and we just need to find land. So we just need to bin uh, bin spells here. I think 
Ooh, hunger's good though. We've got greed. We can maybe copy something with this next turn just to sort of stay alive. Don't think we need the hunger. But we do need the land. Okay, as expected. Interesting. I guess that makes sense. Um, Hmm, kind of just down to take four here. Like eventually we're going to be able to uh, to block that or uh, bounce that with the tie Collar Mentor. I'm just thinking like we're going to be a couple different things we could do here. Like we could attack them for three and Thought Stalker them and then copy. This is a mana value of two. So then we could copy this or this. Get something out of their hand, have have some blocks, see what's going on. So I think that's what we'll do. We could also copy our light shell duo. I think I wanna try to disrupt what they're doing here. Oh boy. All right, so consumed. It's good to know about it. I don't think we're too worried about it though. They can't cast it either. Ember Heart Challenger is pretty problematic. Star Forged Sword, when it enters, if they give us a fish, they get to attach it. <clears throat> it's pretty sick with the uh, double strike as well. So obviously it's between the sword and the two drop. I think it's got to be the sword, unfortunately. So they could have like two creatures with, uh, yeah, they could have two creatures with double strike. It's pretty good. All right. Attach, target, yeah, that's really good too. In, in. All right, well, let's, we just need to get rid of their stuff. So have they played a land this turn? I don't believe that they have. So what they want us to do is, is chump here, then they're gonna play their land, kill our thing. Then we're gonna draw, we're gonna draw hopefully a land and just Wix patrol this. And we can't take six, so. Seven, including this, yeah. Okay, land. They're not gonna greed. Okay, we did, did draw the land. Okay, cool, so we, we're probably gonna have threshold. We're definitely gonna have threshold, so we'll kill the challenger. And the next turn we can bounce the sword and we'll kind of maybe be stable. This Wix patrol is gonna die, obviously. They're not going to want to give us uh, a card to get back their 2-1. Cool with bidding three lands there too, that's not bad. So now that we have, uh, now that we're set up, we just need to draw action. They are going to give us a card. Oh, because they want to get their challenger back. Yeah, that's fair. That is fair. And this can block that, so I'm not going to attack. I think I made a mistake. Probably should have just taken this challenger instead of... Uh, oh, God. Okay, yeah, we're dead now. Well, that was a nice, that was a nice top deck for them. Wix Patrol, baby. It's a good card. 
Cool. Well, I mean, started slow. I think we almost stabilized there. Lucky draw for them at the end there. Um, we needed to, yeah, I mean, we just needed to untap one more time. And we would have uh, probably been okay. But it was not to be. Still pretty happy with the result on this deck, though. Five wins from blue-black. Definitely made a few mistakes, too. So in the hands of a uh, better player, they might have uh, been able to take it all the way. Thanks for watching, everybody. Um, stay tuned. Lots of videos to come on Bloomboro. So uh, we'll talk to you very soon. Bye for now.